Hi, I'm Landry Bender. I'm 10 years old and I'm auditioning for the part of Ida Clayton. My manager is Jamie Malone and my agent's Matt Fletcher. Only difference between cowgirls and angels is what daddy used to say is angels can't ride as good. I'm not exactly a cowgirl and ain't much of an angel either. Truth is, I don't even got a daddy, but if I did, wouldn't that just be the sweetest thing to hear him say? Like John Wayne once said, courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyway. I imagine my daddy saying this to me when things get real tough. He's been sounding, I was gonna pay for it, I swear. Is that why you were halfway out the door? No, I was halfway in the door. Oh, save your story for the sheriff. Hey, there you are, kid. Hey, JW, is she with you? I told you not to run off like that. She was trying to make off with this bottle of aspirin. It's for my mama. She's got a real bad headache. It's, it's extra strength. Sorry for the trouble, Grace. I'll make sure to sit her down. <laughs> Good luck with that. She's a wild one. Come on, you little wild thing. What's your name, kid? Ida Clayton, Mr. Stoker, sir. Ooh, and just how is it that you know me? You're J.W. Stoker, legendary trick rider and cowboy extraordinaire. Cover the Wheaties box at age 12. You were almost as good as my granddaddy. Is that so? Jim Clayton. Ever heard of him? Mm. Tell me, how are things at home, Ida? Everything good with your folks? Just me and my mom, sir. Never knew my daddy. Well, you best be run off. Imagine your mom is waiting on that aspirin. Huh? Oh, right. Yep, gotta run. Can I have your autograph? Me? Aren't you the new chick? I guess I am. Ooh, was, riding, was that really your first time riding with the chicks? Sure was. What's it like to be a cowgirl chick? Better than anything in the world. Sign mine, you no good stinking liar. Ow, Mom, wait, I can explain. You just ruined the best thing that's ever happened to me. Pretty sad if this is the best thing that's ever happened to you, Ida. How do you know? All you care about is your dumb job. I care about it so much, I just threw it away looking for you. Right along with any chance of finding my daddy. Is that what this is about? You think you're just going to stroll into every rodeo this side of Louisiana and say, Hi, I'm Ida. Which one of you is my daddy? Going to be waiting a long line. I would if I didn't know his name, but I do. It's Walker. Ha! Ugh, and what are you going to do if you find him? Magically transform into a loving and respectful daughter? Ida, listen, the only thing you need to know about your daddy is that he deserted us. It's time to accept that and move on. Me move on? You're the one that keeps him stuffed in your closet. There, he's gone. No! I hate you! I hate you! Is that you? You have your grandfather's eyes. I have your ass. And my stubbornness. Have you been crying? You really miss him, don't you? Those are real nice. I, 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 no, go ahead. I was gonna say those curtains are real pretty. You're welcome. I wasn't sure whether to put them up now or wait till after your big show tomorrow night. I'm not riding in the show tomorrow night. What? I'm retiring. Oh, honey, I'm not asking you to. I know. I'm not doing it because you asked me to. What about JW and the men from the TV All station? All I ever do is talk, Mama. And when words come out cheap, you got to find another way to say what you really mean. Even if it means missing out on the chance to be seen by your father? Any man that doesn't want you just isn't worth having. What time is it? I just wanted to show you the morning paper, see if you could get you to reconsider. JW's not even going to be there. I'm sure they'll do far better without me. Can I go back to sleep now?